So I have this extremely long, really long um, coat, cardigan coat, um, is what I refer to it as. And it's really oversized. And I want to make it, I like the fact that it's oversized. I really do like that. I like the fact it's really long, but it's just too much. It's, it is several, several sizes too big for me, but I want it, like I said, to be oversized. So I'm gonna show you how you can make the back smaller by putting elastic in the back of it and just gathering it up so it looks as though it's still oversized it still has that look and that's what i'm looking for but it's taking out a little bit of that fullness and putting it towards the back and making the back look a lot more aesthetically pleasing i suppose so that is what i'm going to show you I'm just in the middle button So I'm happy with how it looks there. I'm going to, I'll turn around. I'm going to pinch the back like so. And then turn around again. I've got a full length mirror here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I keep that in place. So I've got one of these pair of grip holder things. I'm not sure what you call them. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the back, about there. And yeah, I should, my elastic should come there to there. Checking the mirror again to make sure I'm happy. Yeah, that's a nice look. Okay, I'm happy with that. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee, here to share ideas for refashioning clothing. I am going to place some pins as markers for where the elastic is gonna go. So it's gonna be the top of the elastic. And then let me just measure the size because that looks bigger than the other. Looks like 20 centimetres. That's 21 and a half, that's not too bad. Yep, so I'm going to put a pin here, that side, and a pin on that side. I should measure 20. Yep. Okay and then I can release it. Right, so my elastic will sit like that. This is all I've got, <laughs> I've got this elastic. <laughs> it will do the job, yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I'll show you a little trick that my mum showed me many, many years ago of how to create gathers by just placing the elastic onto a garment, which is stretch the elastic, put it down onto the garment and let it do it. So it looks something like that. Not necessarily, it looks more like that when it's a casing, but not when you're going to be stitching the elastic into the garment. But I just thought I'd show you that fun fact that I learned when I was very young. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, um, let me see, I'm gonna fold this in half. I should really fold back, yeah, I'm going to fold back the elastic. I've been sewing. I should cut a little bit more elastic away. Yeah, I think I am. This really was bunched up like that, wasn't it? So basically, I'm going to turn back the elastic 
that much because you want to make sure that I am having at least as much gathering as possible. Maybe even a little bit more. You can cut this away. Um, I'm just not, I'm trying not to create waste here. <laughs> Like I said, this is this is all I've got anyway, so that added little bulk won't make that much difference. So if I sew that to there and pull the elastic to here, that's still not enough. I need to gather a bit more. Okay, let me make this a larger. Because I can't see myself using this whatever bits are left is is left over on any on anything that'll make a big difference. Can't see that happening. Okay. I'm here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. Not only that, I have lots and lots of fashion sewing techniques to help you complete your project. Let's get back to the video. So I'm working on the wrong side. I've got my pins as my markers. So I'm going to place my elastic to that marker. Place it on the foot. Here we are. Yes, it fits me a lot better, even though it's still oversized, but it's not as much. Let me just show you the back. And I always wear this with a belt, and this is a belt I go for more often than not. I'll just put that on. Let's quickly show you how I would wear it. Okay, as you can see, I am really pleased with the results. Um, yeah, it is, it looks easy, but it's not. It's difficult because, but it really does depend on the elastic though. The softer and the stretchier the elastic, the easier the process is. The firmer the elastic, the more struggle you're going to have. Um, I struggled a little, a little bit, mine's about a medium weight stretch. Um, so it wasn't too difficult. I haven't done that technique in a long time. Um, does it look brilliant? Not necessarily. You get a better effect if it was a casing, like I said before. And I would, if you're going for something that's really elegant and expensive, um, I'll definitely choose that method. Um, like I said, it will also depend on the elastic. And it's just a case of going slowly and patience is the key to this. Um, I suppose that's going to be the biggest tip. Patience is definitely the key to this. And um, marking, 
I use pins and, and pretty, it's pretty good actually the results for just using pins. Um, if I had more time I think I would have preferred to have used toe tacks um, for the positions of the pins but I didn't get any pin pricks which is a bonus. Um, or you can actually mark it out with a marker, your preferred marker. Um, yeah, that would be all the advice that I could give. But I'll always wear mine with the belt. I just, yeah, I've always worn this with the belt, but I've always struggled kind of getting the pleating at the back of it, the gathering, and you know, as you move, um, you know, they, they, they do shift. So I'm happy the way that's turned out. So I'm really happy with that. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up and please do share it on your social media platform. And if you have any comments or queries and put those in the links below, now I'll put those in the description below and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.